Hello everyone, today we are going to be making a blackboard for my magical man cave. It's going to have all of the wizardy drinks, all of the wizarding costs in galleons and sickles, so wizard gold, and uh, this is how we're going to do it. So I've got this blackboard here, um, it did have a little bit of a stripe of white where the previous owner didn't paint it properly, so we're going to sort that out right now with a bit of blackboard paint. Um, I've gone around some of the sides already and I've got this lovely acrylic fast drying blackboard paint hashtag not sponsored and also there is a bit of gunk in there so I'll try and get that out if I can. Right and then um, all you do is with a fairly thin bead just go along the sides here don't worry too much I'm gonna fix up any mistakes that I make that's not the end of the world. You could always use a smaller brush if you don't want to fix up any kind of mistakes later or you could even detach it from the frame but I just can't be bothered because I'm going to do this as a fairly quick and easy repair and then I'll go back in later to sort it out. Now the key here as well is that I have taken off the chalk already so it's not too chalky um, but I'm going to go over it again like this Try to make sure that all of the grain is in one direction if you can, because otherwise it will just look a little bit funky. So just get plenty of paint on your brush, but not too much, and then go from side to side. And then, once you've done, wash out your brush. Very, very important. Because if you don't, all the bristles join up. And a pot like this, even this size, it's going to be fairly small size, but it will go a very, very long way. There is no way I'm going to need all of this for this project. But maybe future projects. The other thing you can do with this, just to make sure that the lid is on properly, is carefully stand on it. Carefully. And then, yeah, we're good. Okay, <laughs> wash this one out. Okay, now because I went over the edges with the black, I've got to clean it up. So the best way to do that is with a knife and keep it nice and flat against the edge. You're gonna have to be careful, make sure you don't cut yourself. Get an adult to help you all that jazz. It's supposed to be a bit rugged, so I'm not gonna get too precious about it. And then you're going to want to get a small paintbrush and just go over some of the finer details. Okay, so now that we've tidied up all the edges and everything, we well, need to measure it. So either get yourself a steel rule like I've got or a tape measure would work just as well. All you have to do is to measure the inside now. I know this is 33 inches because I did it just now and 22 across. So we're gonna translate that onto the computer and then you can design our board. It'll look gorgeous, trust me. Okay, so we're back at the computer here. I have just designed this wonderful thing. Uh, I'll scroll down a little bit, but I've cut it into pieces because this is gonna have to be pretty big. So I've cut it into um, these pieces here. I'm gonna trim down some of these, but hopefully you can see just this piece. And then up here, or down there, there's a bit more. I'm gonna get to make sure that we've got all four of these. Ultimately, this is all gonna be on one single sheet. So, what we click on is up here, make it, and then it sorts it all into four different mats. And I've got one of them over here, so this is my mat. Hello mat. I've put down some vinyl, I need to just roll it down to make sure it's properly stuck on there. So that should be okay on that side, and then a little bit more just there. It just bears it down a little bit, make sure it does actually stick. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. The better it is, the closer to perfect it is, the better really. So if there are any air bubbles, try to get those out. That's the only reason I bought this roller, and that's exactly what it's for. Okay, that should probably do it. I don't think there's many air bubbles, if any, in there. And then, I'll load it in. Okay, back over at the computer over here, we'll click on continue, because they all look fine to me. Now this is going to be a big cut, so I'm going to have to make sure that I do four of these all in a row. And we're clicking on vinyl here, the default pressure, you can probably add a little bit more pressure just to make sure that it goes through. And then over on here, this light's flashing, so what we do is to press that, and then leave it to crack on and do its thing. And it's very loud. Okay, so it's all cut. Uh, then I've just got to unload it. Weed out all of these letters, which is going to be really tricky. 
and then do it three more times. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got four sections of vinyl that have all been cut out and weeded, which took two of us two days. So a lot of weeding. Um, but once that's all done, we just lay it out on a cutting mat like this, get a steel rule, which is quite useful, um, because then you can actually lay it up against it like this and trim off all of the excess. So we've got quite a lot of extra vinyl. Let's make sure it goes right up against the steel rule and just trim it like this. And you can always put that in your offcuts folder if you need to. Okay, once you've got that and you've got it down to roughly the right size, we need to then start applying the transfer tape. Now I know that this is probably about 22 inches, so we're just going to roll it out to 22 inches and then cut the transfer tape. Hands are perfect for this, it's not why I bought them, but you know, let's improvise. Put one in each corner like this. And then starting one corner, doesn't matter which, is using some sort of pick, whether it's a pin pen or a tool like I've got, just whip off the backing paper. I guess the other good thing about using cans is that they've only got a fairly small surface area, so they're not going to be likely to stick. Then you get the vinyl like this and just lay it down somewhere in the middle. roller and just roll out any kind of air bubbles that you've got. Move your drinks out of the way. I've got a pin pen and then we've got to just dig up this paper lining on the back of this vinyl. It can be quite tricky. There we go. Once we've got the corner the best thing to do is to Roll it as flat as you can away from the design. And that then prevents you from picking up too much vinyl. And if you do get a little bit, you do just what I did there, is you roll it over, and as soon as you start to notice that you're picking up some vinyl, like this, you just roll it back and then press down hard. And then keep it nice and flat to the vinyl. And you should be okay. be easy enough to come up and whenever you get to a certain point that you think okay that's probably enough for now because you don't want this stuff sticking back onto the transfer tape you just trim off the extra, extra stuff be careful obviously using knives you can always add a bit of pressure while you're peeling as well all done and what we're going to want to do is to trim off some of the excess but not all of the excess. mead needs to go just under the cherry jolly jelly fire shots. Just line it up like this, place it down and again rub it nice and tight in there like that. And try and get rid of as many air bubbles as you can. If you've got a roller like this it's often better to go over. And then using the transfer tape, just pick it 
it up at one corner like this and roll it off and just again try to make sure that you don't get any vinyl on the transfer tape at all and it all, it all does transfer onto the blackboard. And pull it sideways and down like this. Now we've only got two more to do and then we should get onto the chalking. Yay! Okay, so we've cut everything out, we've weeded it all and we've applied it to the board which now looks like this. And then as you can see, I've actually made it a bit of a start on this already. I'm going to be using a chalk pen and where there's any kind of air bubbles, just press them out. But then just go over with a chalk pen like this. And it doesn't need to be very accurate, but um, you know, stick roughly to the areas that have been cut out. And eventually when we peel this off, it should look flipping awesome. Okay, so here it is, my magical bar tariff. Please do let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you want to support this channel like these amazing people, again, the links are down in the description. For Patreon members, I'm gonna give this file away for free as well. And if you want to carry on watching some really cool stuff, the next video you need to watch is this one here. I'll be back next time with some more magical awesomeness, but until next time, as always, magical.